In the unforgiving expanse of the prehistoric world, the line between predator and prey is drawn in blood. The midday sun beats down relentlessly upon the vast savanna, casting a shimmering haze over miles of short, dry yellow grass. In this open field, a group of homo habilis moves slowly, foraging for roots and sustenance. They're exposed, vulnerable, and watched. The golden grass, usually a source of cover for small game, today hides a colossal threat. The ambush, perfectly camouflaged against the parched earth and straw-colored stems, a giant snake lies coiled and waiting. It is a master of silence, its dusty brown scales indistinguishable from the dried array. As one unsuspecting homo habilis wanders slightly apart from the group, digging into the dusty soil, the trap is sprung. With terrifying speed, the giant snake explodes from the grass. There is no time to react. The massive reptile lunges, its jaws unhinging to reveal curved, needle-like fangs. It strikes the homo habilis mid-step, sinking its teeth deep into the shoulder and torso. The silence of the plains is shattered by a scream of pure agony, but a brutal demise. The struggle is violent and brief. The giant snake wraps its muscular body around the victim, crushing bones with immense pressure. In a display of raw brutality, the predator rips at the abdomen of the homo habilis. The wound is catastrophic, Blood sprays across the dry yellow grass, turning the earth dark red. In a horrifying moment, the victim's intestines spill onto the dusty ground. The homo habilis desperately clutches at the open wound with bloody hands, but the damage is fatal. Life fades quickly under the harsh sun. The giant snake, having dealt the killing blow, uncoils and slithers away into the endless sea of grass, leaving the mutilated body behind. Flies begin to buzz around the corpse as the remaining members of the group approach in shock, staring at the gory remains of their kin. The rite of fire, as the sun dips below the horizon, painting the sky in deep reds, the mood shifts from terror to mourning. The group gathers the broken body, carrying it across the darkening field. They pile mounds of dry yellow grass and scrub would to create a funeral pyre in the center of the open plain. A spark is struck and the dry grass catches fire instantly. The flames roar upward, illuminating the tear-streaked faces of the homo habitus. They sit in a circle, wailing in grief as the fire consumes the body. But as the night wears on and the body turns to ash, the tears dry up. The glow of the dying embers reflects in their eyes, not with sadness, but with a newfound, burning rage. They do not sleep. Instead, they reach for stones and heavy branches. The retaliation. Dawn breaks over the savanna, revealing a changed group. They're no longer foragers. They're a war party. With sharpened wooden spears and heavy rocks in hand, the Homo habilis tracked the trail left by the giant snake in the dust. They find the beast basking near a rock formation in the open field. This time, there is no fear. The group surrounds a predator, 
A heavy rock initiates the attack, thudding against the snake's scales. The beast rears up, hissing and lunges, biting a homo habilis on the leg. But the group does not scatter. It is a chaotic, dusty brawl. Spears pierce the tough hide of the snake. Tails whip homo habilis into the air. Blood from both man and beast spatters the dry grass. Driven by vengeance, they swarm the creature. A spear is driven deep into its body, pinning it down. Finally, a homo habilis lifts a massive rock and brings it down with crushing force onto the snake's head. The aftermath, the thrashing stops. The giant snake lies dead, its massive body broken and twisted on the yellow grass. The homo habilis stand over their kill, panting, bleeding, and covered in dust. They are exhausted, but they are victorious. In the middle of the vast, open plain, the hierarchy has shifted. They drag the carcass of their enemy across the dry earth, a grim trophy of their survival. The golden grass waves in the wind, hiding the bloodstains of the battle as the Homo habilis reclaim their place as masters of the savannah. You serpent! I will not fall here today.
cut the big snake here. Yes, we take the meat now. 